So today I'm going to be tackling putting new batteries in this Razor MX350 scooter that I bought for my daughters. Um, I bought it a month or two ago and as soon as I bought it I realized like the charge just dropped off real quick. I mean they don't get more than five minutes of ride time out of this thing before the battery starts dying. Um, which is kind of a bummer but I bought it used. Um, the people told me it worked great and it overall does work great except for the batteries. So what I did was I went out on Amazon, I found some new batteries, um, seemed a lot cheaper than going up to a local battery shop like Batteries Plus or Interstate Batteries. Um, they were about 40 bucks a piece from what I've seen in those stores. So I decided to just order some new batteries off of Amazon. Um, I've never replaced, you know, I've got new batteries for like the little John Deere Gators and cars like that. But those are just plug and play batteries. All you have to do is charge them and you know, there's just a connector that you plug it into. So this is a 24 volt. Um, it's got two 12 volt batteries in it and they are built in and there's just a little charging port here. So the batteries are, are not really accessible. You have to take the body off of this bike to get to the batteries. Um, I've read a couple things about other people who have replaced batteries in these and apparently um, some people said it was really difficult to get the connectors off the batteries and they were a little bit confused by it. Other people even said that they had to buy some new connectors for the batteries. Um, they had to run to their local um, hardware store and find some uh, electrical connectors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start taking this thing apart. We're going to see what it looks like. You guys are going to do it with me for the first time and we're going to figure it out together. So, um, I don't think it's going to be overly complicated. I'm sure we'll run into some bumps, but um, we're going to get some new batteries in this thing today. Um, I've already kind of looked at the body of this thing. It looks like there's a, a few um, Allen head screws that you have to take out. So, I just have this kind of multi Allen wrench right here. Um, you know, these are great because they've just got all kinds of different sizes on them. Sometimes they can be a little bit tough if you have tight spaces to get into because you have this huge body that holds all the other allen wrenches um, so we'll see um, but I'm gonna try and get it off this we'll see what happens so there's there are a couple of up under this rear fender up in here there are a couple allen screws I'm actually I'll go ahead and take my phone and get it up in there and show you guys. so if you look up under here there are a couple allen screws here that you've got to loosen up that holds this plastic, this whole like plastic body on. Um, I think there might be another one, um, but I'm not 100% sure. We will, uh, we'll find out as we start taking it off. There you go, there's my two little Allen screws. Um, oh, you know what? There's one right up front here. Let me uh, immediately notice. So right here, uh, um, where this little fake looking gas tank is, because this is an electric scooter, uh, there's a fake looking little gas cap that you have to take off. And there's an Allen screw right there. So, um, we'll be able to take that out of there. Uh, I think that's a little bit smaller size. So, let's see if I've got one on here that'll fit it. I do. That's the other handy thing about having one of these, these tools. It just has a bunch of different size Allens on it. That's a pretty long one. So there you go, got that one out. Okay, there we go. So that's your whole little uh, 
plastic body that comes off of this. And here's what it looks like without the body on. It looks, looks pretty naked. Um, so here you go. Here's where the batteries are kept. But you need to take this thing apart. Um, and it looks like you're going to have to have a Phillips head screwdriver to get this casing off of here. So I'm going to go grab a Phillips head. I'll be right back. Got my Phillips head. Uh, looks like there's several several screws around this casing that you've got to take out. So I'm just going to get started doing that. There are, there are these little lock nuts on the other side of these screws, so make sure you don't lose these, okay? Okay, so there we go. That's loose, um, so that's cool. The right side of this totally comes off, um, but on this left side actually has that little charging port and the on-off connector connected to it. So you're not gonna be able to completely pull that off. Don't rip it off, because there's wires connected there. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of let that hang um, for the time being. And we're going to take a look at these batteries and see what we have to do. So here we go. Um, here are the batteries. You've got two 12-volt batteries in here. So it does, you know, uh, like I had read, it looks like there's like some hot glue on here covering up these connectors. Um, so we're going to have to try and peel that off. I don't know how, you know how easy that will come off we'll see um, but the thing about it is you you want to make sure that you wire this thing back the same way okay so a lot of times with stuff like this um, what I'll do just to make sure I'm doing stuff right is I'll take a before I start taking anything you know any of the wires off I'll take a picture of it as a reference to go back and look at because if you just pull this stuff off here, it may seem easy enough. I've done this before. You're just like, oh, well, that's easy enough. I'll remember. Well, you get it off, and then you go to put it back together, and you're like, how did this stuff wire up? Um, I've done it more than once. So I've just kind of learned my lesson. I take pictures, um, and then that way I have a reference to go back and look. So that's what I'm going to do right now is snap a couple pictures. So I've got a flathead screwdriver. Um, and I grabbed a little pair of needle nose just in case I need them. I'm going to try and get these little uh, spots of hot glue off here just by prying them off. We'll see how well it works. That piece of hot glue actually filled up pretty easy, but I can see that these connectors are soldered on here. Um, which isn't a big deal necessarily. Um, if you've never soldered, um, you could 
I'm going to show you how I do it. You know, I've soldered quite a few things throughout the years. I'm by no means a <laughs> professional at it, um, but it's really not that difficult. So there we go. That piece of hot glue came off there pretty easy. So there are four connections here. So I'm just peeling these off. Loose. So I want you guys to see these uh, connections up close. So what you've got is you've got this hot glue uh, that was covering up this connection. I just peeled that back. And now what you have is you have this black heat shrink that was kind of covering the electrical connection. And if you see right here, almost looks like a little puddle of metal right that's your solder so that's what's holding that connection to that battery connector here i have my little pair of cutters so i'm actually just going to clip it up as close to that connector as i can get because uh, i don't want to make the wire any shorter than i need to i need it to re <laughs> you know if it was too short to reach the new connector that would be bad so i'm actually just going to clip it so there we go that's off back that one that one and that actually just runs those two batteries together it's essentially what turns it from a 12 volt into a 24 volt because you've got two 12 volt batteries. And there we go, that's loose. So I have all my connections loose. Um, you have, now that the connections are cut loose on these batteries, you have a metal band that holds these batteries down. It looks like this one is actually missing one of these screws, but it's the same type of Allen screw that you um, took off before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off here, I'm going to get these old batteries out, I'm going to get my new ones out here, and I'm going to see if I can start soldering them on. So I got the batteries out. These are my old batteries. Um, these are my new batteries. And I just kind of set them next to one another. They look exactly the same size and everything, which is good. Um, you probably, when you're searching for these things, um, if you go to Amazon, of course I'm going to put a link in there probably to the batteries that I've bought, um, but you know, you want to try and verify the size and everything because if, if you don't order the right size, it's not going to fit in that little compartment. So these look like they're the exact right size, which is cool. Uh, the connector orientation is the same, which is awesome. So I'm going to set these in there and I'm going to start trying to solder them up and we're going to see if we can get these things working. Fit in there like a glove which is fantastic. And so now what I'm going to have to do is I have a little pair of wire strippers right here you may not have wire strippers um, if you don't have wire strippers you can potentially use a, a, a little uh, flush cutter like this um, you can even use a real sharp knife to strip back that wire that you cut so I'm gonna do that so I've got I've got this old one here I'm just gonna pull that old hot glue off there and everything and then I'm going to strip this wire back enough to get it soldered on there. So there you go. I stripped that wire back just a little bit. And I'm going to strip the other one. Okay, 
ways, so that strips back. Uh, now I've got a little bit of solder, uh, new solder, which you'll have to have, um, or you could potentially go buy connectors, but you're probably crimp connectors uh, that you can crimp onto these wires and put up onto these connectors. Um, I think soldering is probably a better idea, but uh, up to you. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can go and buy these little crimp connectors. And um, if I can find some, I'll put a link to some so you know what they look like. If you don't, you know, if you're not familiar with them, um, and then what you can do is you can actually just like crimp those onto that wire, and then the connectors will slide up onto the battery connections. Um, but I need to find my solder. I'll explain over here. So, I'm just going to bring my wire up here and soldering, I'm actually going to take this solder and I'm going to put some solder on the wire first. Which can be tricky, sometimes you have to have some little um, things to hold wire while you're doing this. I'm going to try and do it without it. this wire to this connector. I think I may have gotten that one soldered on. Let's see. Seems like it's on there. And now I'm going to try and solder this connection over here. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on this wire first. Um, sorry if you guys can't see this super well. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm getting the soldering iron right, kind of touching that wire. And then I'm feeding some solder touching kind of the wire and the soldering iron at the same time. Um, and I'm kind of putting a coating of solder on this wire. I'm definitely not a professional with this. Um, I have soldered a few things over the years, though. There we go. I got some on there. I'm actually going to slip around. 
this side. And let's see if I can get this soldered onto here. It's a pretty terrible solder job. This is also a terrible soldering iron. But it seems like the wire is on there. So that's what I care about. Now I've got to take this other connector and um, got to strip the ends of this. So you can see I'm just uh, taking my wire cutters. You can see that the cutters have different sizes on there for different size wire. So I'm just finding the one that looks like about the right size, squeezing, wiggling a little bit, and then it exposes that wire. There we go. And so I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to try and get some solder on here first, and uh, then I'm going to solder it onto the battery. Okay, so I got the connections soldered on here. They are just not good looking solder connections. Um, I mean, they're all tight, um, but I apologize about the terrible soldering. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, so now what I'm doing is uh, I'll bring the phone over here so you can kind of see. So now verifying that this works so I'm flipping the switch on and it lights up red I don't know if you can see that but the switch is lighting up I uh, picked it up to see if my power is coming it is so that's a good thing so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of reverse the whole process put this thing back together um, I'm probably going to get some electrical tape and cover up those connections really good. It would probably be a good idea to even put some um, hot glue or something on it to completely cover them up. But I'm, I'm going to do the best I can with uh, some electrical tape and uh, put this all back together. And I'm going to fully charge it. And hopefully these bad boys will keep a charge longer than the original ones were. Um, you know, it's you're, you're never 100% sure. I look at reviews. The reviews on Amazon for these batteries were good. They are called, uh, I believe they're called Power King. Uh, no, no, I take that back. They're called Mighty Max batteries. Um, and there were a ton of reviews on there that were good reviews. Obviously, you're going to have your, your spotty review here or there, one or two stars. Uh, but for the most part, these things got four stars, you know, four and a half stars, um, so uh, I'm hoping they last a while, they were like, I think it was, it was like 40 bucks for both of them, so I would have paid 80 if I had gone to a battery store, um, maybe those batteries would last longer, but 
you know, with toys like this, you're never 100% sure how often your kids are going to play with it. My daughters have seemed to like it so far with, you know, just how short the battery time is. Um, so maybe with these new ones, they'll, they'll like it even more. Um, and if they do, then I may end up buying another one of these uh, little dirt bikes. This is a Razor MX350. They make um, MX500s, I think, and maybe even something a little bit bigger because my older daughter is really just a little bit big for this thing. I think it's hilarious in the specs for these dirt bikes. They say for, I think, 13 or 14 and older, there's no way a 13 or 14 year old could ride this thing. It's way too little. My seven year old daughter is almost too big for this thing. Well, she really is too big for it. My four year old daughter can ride this dirt bike. Um, I grew up, I got my first real gas powered dirt bike when I was six. And um, so my four year old, uh, she's outpacing me, which is awesome. So anyway, I'm going to put this all back together, and I'm going to plug in the charger. We're going to let this thing charge up, and um, I'll try and get a little video and uh, show you how it goes. Alright guys, it is the next day because uh, I wanted to let these new batteries fully charge. You can see the light turn green, it's red when it's charging, so they should be fully charged. And we have our tester over here who's going to be riding the bike. Hey, hey guys. Um, I just wanted to say one thing. Um, the other day, Liam was over here and we tried to ride the dirt bike up there. But then he read it back down here, and then I said, I want to turn, and then I read it up there, and then it started slowing down, and my dad was just like, I ordered batteries. I'm going to put them in tomorrow. So my dad put them in yesterday, so I'm going to test out the dirt bike. All right, get your helmet on. All right, the helmet's right on the dirt bike. <laughs> Safety first, you guys. Yes. This is a really cool helmet, actually. See how cool it is? Awesome. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Anyway, where did you buy this? I got it off Amazon. What? I know. That's so cool. You can find anything on there. Yeah, Amazon is amazing, guys. Don't forget to unplug the charger. Guess what? Do you know how I got my reborn baby? On Amazon. Amazing. First, I've got to plug this out. <laughs> it's really hard to. I think I can do it. Okay. There you I go. All right, here we go. We're gonna see if this works. Did you turn it on? No, it's not yet. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I just turned on. All right, let's see. Be careful, because the grass is wet. I don't want you slipping. <laughs> go for it. Awesome. It's a success. 